Let's cover this ground with some grass. So let's start with a simple Vira material. And the first thing we need is a diffuse map. So let's go to cgtextures.com and look for grass. All right, you can use almost any image you want from this. They will all give you a bit different look. I'm going to try this one here. Maybe combine it with this one. All right, let's download the large size and open in Photoshop. And same here. Okay, so what I'm going to do is copy this one and paste it over this texture here. Now I'm going to transform it to fit the size like this. Right, and let's try some different blending modes to blend these two together. Okay, this looks pretty good, I think. Let's merge down. Maybe use the curves tool to make it a bit darker. Alright, like this. Alright, that's ready. Let's save it. and assign it to the diffuse slot. Okay. It's a bit too large, let's style it. Let's say 5 by 5. I think this looks better. Okay, now a new render. Doesn't look too realistic, you need you need some 3D shape to the grass. Right now it just looks like a flat, flat surface covered with a texture. So we can fix this by using displacement. Maybe let's reduce the blurring on the texture. And let's set up a displacement map. For grass I've found that the best results come from 3D Max cellular map. Go to displacement and set up a cellular map here. So this is how it looks. So all these white parts get extruded out and the dark parts get extruded back down. So let's adjust the colors a bit. Okay, to make it uh, more like grass. I think this looks okay. Maybe let's try adjusting the spread to give some uh, space um, between the grass blades. Alright, and finally let's make the size much smaller. Let's try 0.5. So a value of 100 will be probably much too large. Let's try something more like 5. And render. So now it takes some time to calculate the displacement. So a very quick and simple way to create a decent grass. Decent short grass. If you need longer grass with uh, bent leaves bent blades, this will not work because you can extrude the grass only straight up. You can't have more complex shape for it. If your results look worse, you have much more pixelated grass, much larger clumps. Uh, you might want to go to your V-Ray settings, the displacement tab, 
and increase the quality. I will reduce the edge length to 1 pixel and set up my max subdivs to 512 to get this nice result. So you have to find a nice balance between speed and quality here. Alright, so that's a very simple way to create some short grass. If you want some longer grass with uh, more complex shapes, we will need to use some 3D models scattered around using uh, some plugin or simply scattered around. What I've done is I've uh, modeled some individual grass blades and scattered them around by using the Forest Pro plugin. Alright, so here's my source geometry, some simple uh, grass blades, one larger stem, and I've scattered them around to get this effect. Right, let's turn off the displacement for the ground and I'll show you how it looks. So if you need some longer grass, 3D models or model geometry is the way to go. You can't get the same result by using just materials. But even if you create a geometric grass, you still need to set up some nice materials for it, for it to be realistic. So this is with just the basic gray viri material. Let's try and make it a bit more real by creating a nice material for it. Let's start with the grass blades. Right, since I'm using this geometry and it's instanced on the ground, we can just see how the textures look on these individual blades and they will look the same on the rest of them. Right, so here's the basic V-Ray material. For the diffuse, we're going to try a gradient ramp. Okay, turn the preview on. And you can see how the gradient looks on our geometry. This is not exactly what, we, what we're looking for. We want the gradient to go vertically. Well, this depends on your UV mapping. And in this case, I need to rotate my UVs minus 90 degrees. Or 90 degrees, whichever you want. Right, so let's make the top a bit lighter. So something green, but lighter than the rest of the blade. And paste in into two other slots as well. Make this darker. Okay, maybe like that, very simple. Let's give the blades some weak reflections, blur them slightly, turn on the freno. Let's set it at 3. And for this little stem here, I've got another material. And I'm gonna use a simple color for now. Slightly lighter than the rest of the grass. Okay, maybe let's, let's set up a noise map here. So two similar colors in the noise map. Let's try a smaller size. So 
something like this. Okay. Maybe some very, very weak reflections and very, very blurry reflections. Alright. So let's see how it looks now. So I guess it looks okay, but we can make it even better by adding some translucency to the grass blades. Since we're using planar geometry, it doesn't have a 3D shape, it's just, it's just a plane with one side. We can use V-ray two-sided material for this. I'm simply going to change my grass material to be right to sided and keep my old material as sub-material. Okay, well, let's re-render this little patch here and see what has changed. So now you can see that the light is scattering inside these uh, grass blades. And it looks a bit more realistic than this, than this shiny solid grass. Alright, so I've also set up my grass blades to have two material IDs. So we can try and bring some more variety by using multi-sub material. I'm going to change my material to multi-sub object. Keep old material as submaterial and copy and paste it in the second slot. And in the second slot I'm gonna go into my gradient ramp and I'm gonna change the colors so the tip uh, is a bit yellow. Brownish yellow, something like that. Right. Let's see how this looks. And some of the grass blades now have these lighter yellow tips. Okay, I think the grass is a bit too reflective. Maybe let's weaken the reflections a bit. Maybe blur them even more, like this. Alright, let's re-render. I'm gonna set up my render size a bit larger. Okay, so that's how you make simple grass material. You can either use displacement to create short vertical grass or make a nice material for geometric 3D grass. You can change the colors in the gradient ramp to get whatever shade of green you want.